Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Oh, uh, I'm sitting here going through my little book here. I got all my recipes pretty much flipped through here. Oh, got an extra binder today. I found I had bought at some point in time. And we're gonna change up my book a little bit here. Okay, that's the start of the how tos. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through here and we're going to pick out all these recipes out of here for now. And we're going to start a new book. But actually, I'm going to have to make two books, but we're going to start with one. I don't feel like photocopying everything tonight and I don't have a second one to put all this stuff in. We'll pull all them out. Close that one up. Which, you got quite a few recipes here. And these recipes, like I've said in the past, these are prepping recipes for the most part. You got the new binder out now. And if you order, I mean by like prepping recipes. Cornbread is on that one. So we'll stick that in here. And then acorn squash, because squash is a long-lasting thing. Zucchini bread. You know, it's all pretty much garden recipes or whole grain recipes. This one here is an Irish soda bread recipe. And Irish soda bread, I think I've discussed this before, is bread that basically you don't use yeast to make. And then there's how to make a buttermilk substitute. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get all these stuffed in here quick and kind of show you what it looks like after we get done. Okay, so we got everything put in here. And like I said, I just wanted to separate kind of my how-to book away from my recipe book. Just easier to deal with that way. So, like, it's all those things, banana bread, true whole wheat white bread, um, four-ingredient flat bread. Stuff like that. So, I mean, Mexican rice. But, yeah. So, I found this lying around today and I figured I'd go through and straighten that up. Now, I got two binders down here set up. And then, what else was I going to go through? Oh, that's what I was going to go through. Get. Let me get that stuff over there put away and then there's a binder quick in the back. Now this is kind of a prototypical day off for me when I get home off the road. Um, we're going to unplug that charging cable. Grab my Roku remote because i got to watch some TV. Trivia for anybody who knows what I was watching. What else? Oh, that's what we're going to get out. So, I got myself a new truck gun, and I'm going to get it up here. Okay, we got it set up here. Now I got the bolt carrier out of it, which the bolt carrier that is in this gun, I uh, had a different gun. This is my spare. It's nickel boron. And the reason I put it in this gun is because it's carbine, and the reason it's out is because the magnet's actually got ammo in it it just makes the, the the drum just makes a nice stand for it but uh there's nothing in the chamber and like i said the bulk here is there so what i did here close this up maybe there we go so what i wound up getting here and actually i had the lower on hand I got me a Palmetto State Armory 10 and a half inch pistol upper to go on my last strip lower and I did it similar to my other truck gun except for that one's 300 blackout this one's 223 yeah I've been debating on switching the other one to 223 but uh yeah so there's nothing fancy about it but uh we definitely 
got something that's not too short, but it's still carbine length. And that's really what I wanted. I didn't want pistol length gas on this gun. The thing is, it's going to be loud. And actually, I'm going to take this mag out and I'm going to try something else quick. Okay, we're back. I changed the mag out and just put a flat mag in. It actually stands. I'm kind of worried because this gun's a little front heavy because of the eight post. But uh, I'm not going to do anything special with this one. I might put a red dot on it. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave it just like this. I'll probably change the furniture so I can get uh, the Magpul stuff and put, uh, mag put a rail on it for a flashlight. But other than that, I got this upper without the bolt carrier. Because like I said, I had the bolt carrier, which is now in the gun. But like I said, we're empty. Um... Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to get real crazy. I just put a little flip-up aluminum sight on it. And then, like I said, I'll probably change out the furniture. But other than that, I mean, it's got a really nice fit. And even the finish on the upper is good. And for, you can see just a little bit of light between the the upper and the lower so it's got good fitment there even too but um I just figured I'd kind of give you a quick rundown and this is kind of the thing I would recommend for a truck gun I don't know if I would want a full size AR for a truck gun for the simple fact that this would be just as handy and actually I would debate it on SBRing something like this too but I just don't know if I want to. But that's kind of what I was doing today. So, uh, thanks for checking in with me. Uh, keep prepping. Keep doing what you got to do to make sure your family's taken care of in these times. And uh, please subscribe. Tell your friends about the videos. And have a great day.